hi friends so today's video is about uh, the altitude hold in the Arduino quadcopter uh, which I have been working on for some some time now I've been successfully able to fly the drone but unfortunately I was unable to have or achieve altitude hold so today I will just show you the video of a successful flight it is the first successful flight I had after many months I will just show you a graph from our previous flights so this is a height data from our older flights so as you can see uh, it, it is quite noisy and because of this I could not achieve the uh, altitude, uh, altitude control because with such a noisy data it is not possible for the PID to have sufficient control and I have discussed this in one of my other videos where I have uh, discussed about the use of secondary Arduino as a slave controller to support the primary flight controller. Okay, today is 24th of April 2022. So I hope we get some kind of uh, altitude control. Okay, let's go on with it. There's wind actually. There's some wind. So I'm switching on audio control now. It seems to be working. controlling right now only roll and pitch I'm controlling roll and pitch only the height is being controlled automatically okay so our PID seems to be working I get it close to the com computer so that the Bluetooth data can be locked properly. Okay, I'll switch it off and check for a different height now. Hi. So I've tuned the peak, uh, the proportional gain to 20. Earlier flight was 25. We got successful flight now with the value of 25 P gain and D gain of 50. So I have left the D gain to be same. I have studied the data. I'll show you the data. The flight data. Uh, based on that, I have reduced the P gain because I have seen some oscillations. But uh, the thing with our drone is that it works at low altitude. The ultrasonic sensor is doing well. It is sending reasonable good data at the lower altitude of below uh, below 60, 70 centimeters. So I will operate at that height. And then if it works out, we will maybe switch the sensor to something else, like a lidar or something. Okay, so let's check. Okay, something has happened. The remote. Okay, oh, fine. There's wind. There's a lot of wind now again. Maybe we will try. I switch on the audio control. I'm not controlling the thing now. Huh? Okay. There's wind actually drifting with the wind.
we have just lost one ball. Now we lost landing gear. <laughs> okay, I'll land it now. Temperature is quite high. I may spoil my laptop as well as the drone. So I'm switching off the audio control. Uh, now this is manual control. And land it just near us. Ha! It seems to have gone well, the test. Today was a grand success. Okay, so this is done. The sensor, it's a H HCSRO4, and this is a Bluetooth which I'm using to capture data on my laptop, telemetry. And this is drone as usual with the secondary controller here. It's very hot actually, the battery is spoiled. Okay, thanks and bye. Okay. So we'll end today's video with a quick walkthrough to the data that was captured via Bluetooth in my laptop. So what you can see on the screen is the alti hole telemetry. So by telemetry, I mean the I'm capturing the height versus time, height versus time. And as you can see on the screen is the blue graph is the height, which is changing with respect to time and the uh, straight line in red. It is the height of 84 centimeters, which I had requested for the drone to be at, at or to hold its height at 84 centimeters. So you can just look at it, alti hold on. This was a stage around seven seconds into the flight. I switch on the alti hold. And then as you can see here, the drone is actually trying to uh, retain its position. Although we can see oscillations in the graph. And then I had switched it off, alti hold off at around 66 seconds. So from the data, we can clearly see that there is oscillations. So there is a good scope in which we can reduce this oscillation by probably reducing the P gain and also reducing the D gain. Okay, when I say D gain, which is around 50 right now, I'll come to this slide here, the orange graph, the orange graph, is the throttle value. So you can see there's a very high frequency noise. This is coming from the high D gain. So when I say D gain, so it is possible to reduce this because this is not healthy for a motor. Such, such kind of a signal is not healthy for a motor. So we have to get rid of this as well. Okay, so I'll end the video, uh, hoping that I'll be able to fine tune my PID control for the height hold and I hope to achieve good height, a good control at least for heights below 100 centimeters. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and do like and subscribe to my channel. It, it is a motivation for me to carry on with this work and contribute to the community of drones. Thank you.